Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is I believe part 4 of my eyeshadow palette collection videos and of course if you want to watch all the other parts there is a playlist on my channel that is all about like makeup collection so you will find that definitely on my channel and if I'm super super good I'm going to link it if I don't then you'll find it among my playlists okay so we are going to go into the next 10 brands in my collection because I cannot have these videos get out of control and feature more so yeah so that's what we're doing and of course more videos in that kind will come up okay also sweetie if you just found me and this is your first time here then welcome I'm so so glad you're here I'm Leora I'm a makeup artist and stylist and I'm all for colorful styling colorful makeup with the occasional neutral look that is also really really beautiful I just don't do it all the time but anyway we're trying to embrace everything here so if you like that please check out my channel and subscribe because that would just be the best okay now let us go into the uh, collection the next part of my eyeshadow palette collection because uh, let's not linger okay so maybe let's start with violet was and again there is no order to this uh there's no this is no ranking or anything i'm just sort of putting it out there okay so let us start with this one this is the rainbow palette from violet was i also do not know honestly what is still available or what not this is not the purpose of the video okay so anyway this is the rainbow palette i love this when i saw this on instagram actually one of my besties bought this for me really early on in my a makeup journey and I'm uh, I, I'm not liking it so much I'm sorry in general the violet Voss formula is not so much my thing personally I've heard people raving about it I have two palettes from violet Voss. the other one is coming right up both of them I got from my bestie and I feel so so bad uh, to say that I'm not the biggest fan of this formula but I still want to be honest you know and you can of course take it or leave it because you might have completely different experiences and um, it's just not, not my preference I do believe that I can like whatever you throw at me I do believe that I can still um, do nice looks with it you know it's just not my preference okay so this is the rainbow palette from violet Voss, and then I also have the flamingo palette which I also received from one of my besties and back then she was my only bestie now now I have a few more because <laughs> you know I've met a few people so yeah this is how she looks and uh, yeah it's also color scheme wise it's maybe not so much me anymore but back then I was just so so grateful to just have something you know that is basically what it was have I used this I don't think I've done more than three looks with this palette and I have it I want to say almost three years I don't know time is flying fast so I can't really say but something like that okay now a formula that I actually really really like is OPV Beauty and that is a UK based brand and let's start maybe with this one because I got this first this is the Tropical Dreams palette I got this from my sister for my 40th birthday yes if you don't know I am 40 plus believe it yeah so anyway uh i'm a mature woman you know and um i've been around the barn for quite a bit but my makeup journey is actually just beginning you know so i feel like i'm just scratching the surface of what i can and what i will do <laughs> so anyway this is a tropical dreams palette and i think this one is absolutely beautiful and i actually asked my sister to buy this for my birthday she asked me what i want and i said you know this one this had just launched or it had just been sneak peeked and then she bought it for me and this is when i got it so this is a really really beautiful palette haven't used this this is such a shame such a shame but that's a reoccurring theme in my collection or about my collection that I'm just not really getting to use stuff a lot <laughs> you know because I'm getting in a lot of new stuff in all the time okay rainbow splash palette I ordered this I think I might have seen this on Angie's channel I don't know I saw it somewhere and then I liked it and then I uh, I ordered it I think this is also a good palette also with this one I think I only did like two looks or something but it's really really beautiful colorful really really nice good performance overall yeah so that is my two palettes these are proper English on my two palettes that I own from OPV Beauty. Then let us also go in to Mark Wiley Cosmetics. That is for me personally a rather new brand. I want to say I discovered Mark. <laughs> that sounds great, right? I discovered Mark at the end of 2020. 
he was one of the good things that happened during 2020 let's just say okay so Mike Wiley Cosmetics is US based and he actually sent me this palette the Amun Ra palette in PR and this is also has been reviewed here on my channel I did a couple of looks with this it was a very very good performance there are a couple of topper shades there are a couple of shimmers no pressed glitters really really nice mattes and of course a lot of a lot of stuff to work with you know so yeah this is the Amun Ra palette and then after I had reviewed this and liked the formula I actually actually also got the I want to say Bed of Roses palette in PR which is an all neutral palette which is in my giveaway pile okay so anyway so one of you will get to try Mark Wiley Cosmetics okay after I had loved this one I actually ordered also the Virgo palette which I still haven't gotten around to using uh yeah it's in my pile of shame I'm sorry but yeah <laughs> so anyway I definitely wanted this though because this represents my which side of me which side of me does this represent the dark mystic side you know this is the Virgo palette you do have uh, three glitters here and then of course mattes and shimmers on both sides and I think this is a spectacular palette probably even more well most probably even more my thing than the Amun Ra palette while of course the Amun Ra palette is super versatile for probably most people maybe I, I would assume that some people would shy away from a dark palette like this for me this is fun you know this is fun and it sort of brings out that side in me that I you know that I really really like yeah so yeah um, this is Mark Wiley Cosmetics and I'm super th super thrilled about this brand because seriously this is good stuff you know I also have a code it's not affiliated uh, with Mark if you want to do some shopping there okay now let us go to BH Cosmetics once I have cleaned, <laughs> cleaned up the mess let me also just maybe move those palettes away so I have a little bit more room here okay let us move on to BH Cosmetics okay so uh, let us start with the Nouveau Neutrals palette this is a very very simple palette a very well a very old one <laughs> that sounds bad but one of the more like older the older palettes I don't know if this is available anymore it is actually really really cute I have used this even on customers you know um, especially for like bat mitzvahs and things like this uh, where I do gentle looks for uh, younger girls or something this works really really well plus it also gives you all these uh, blushes I don't know is it officially blushes though uh, doesn't say doesn't say I think it's probably meant also as um, as normal mattes but I'm actually using it as blushes these bigger shades here yeah it's not a bad formula at all um, I'm just you know I'm not personally too much in those colors into those colors <laughs> also this one I got from the same bestie that also gave the other palettes from Violet Ross to me and actually all of like a lot of these palettes that are coming now no two more from BH Cosmetics I also got from her you know because she lives in the US and it's easy for her to get this and sometimes also you know she made use of sales in Alta or wherever she bought it so there is also the Desert Oasis palette which is of course uh, yeah do you think that this that I'm using this a lot <laughs> no I don't think I've ever done a single eyeshadow look with this but I have to say that the highlighters in this palette and also actually the shimmer shades right here work super super beautiful as highlighters and these are spectacular and for that reason I have this palette because I love this palette for the highlighters because the shimmers as slash highlighters are amazing yeah so I don't even store this with the rest of my palettes I store this with the highlighters because the eyeshadows are absolutely not interesting to me but the highlighters are amazing yeah so that is that that's the Desert Oasis palette then I do have wait I have another one I just forgot because uh, this one here this is the Royal Affair palette from BH Cosmetics and this one I'm using to do my brows yeah also this one I got from my US bestie let's call her like that and I'm actually using three shadows this one this one and this one to set my brow pomade and this is what I'm using it for exclusively okay so yeah also this color scheme is definitely not really what I'm using so yeah these are all palettes from the time when I didn't really know yet which way I'm going you know so that was that let's just put this back to my brow products and then another palette I got from her from my US 
bestie and that's the color festival palette which has such beautiful packaging and this is of course a little bit more my thing it also has a couple of neutrals it also has of course a very like the most for the most part uh, colorful shades and it's a pretty palette so I have to say though that the formula I believe the formula in those bigger palettes with more shades um, is inferior to the ones that I'm going to show you soon and um, I also used to have the back to Brazil or take me back to Brazil those two palettes I have decluttered those uh, those were basically my first colorful palettes those two Brazil palettes okay now I also have this one this is the blue muffin blueberry <laughs> blueberry muffin palette I ordered this just recently and this is how she looks it's a beautiful palette very very nice and soft while still giving you the option of going colorful and going more bold I did not personally like the performance too much shimmers were okay mattes were kind of for like what I what I can judge okay I did two looks with it I actually wanted to do three and film also with the palette after the second look no actually after the first look I already decided that this is not mm. and then I just forced myself to do another look did they come out okay yes but then again all my looks come out ending like ending up looking okay you know some more okay than others but this was not my favorite definitely not what was my favorite and that is even though this is not a ranking video and um, they are definitely my top-notch uh, BH Cosmetics palettes are these two so this is the pistachio palette and this is the uh, bubblegum palette both of them from the sweet shop collection and uh, these were spectacular these I super super enjoyed I also filmed with them I did looks with them and this was the review video of of these palettes um, was one of those videos that beginning of this year got corrupted and I just never get around to refilming it so I just made I think a chatty review and included the pictures of the looks. so in case you're interested what my opinion was about these palettes in depth then of course you can go and find that I think under my playlist for my makeup reviews uh, you can find it there okay so that was everything I have from BH Cosmetics I believe I hope I'm not lying but you know sometimes because I'm spreading out my collection in different places depending on what I'm using the palette for it's sometimes a little bit hard to um, know exactly what I'm doing so yeah okay let's go to sample beauty sample beauty is based in the UK and I have four palettes from sample beauty the first ones that I got were these two the immensity palette I always have to read it in the back because I never remember the immensity palette and then this one was the hydrographic palette which looks like this also super super pretty I think there was a this was a collection and there was another one that was more neutral that I didn't buy okay so anyway these two I have and then I also have the equalizer palette which looks like this and of course they have come out with another one or two equalizer palettes after this I only have this one I was actually in the beginning when they came out with the more neutral equalizer palette I was like Neh. and then I saw I think Paulina Beauty Paulina Aspoyong uh, use it and she loved it and then I was like maybe I should get it and then I wanted to get it because there was a big sale on Beauty Bay and then it was sold out and I never got uh, back to buying it so I don't know if I will eventually but I don't know so anyway and then I also have this one this is the painters palette which was a collab with Beth Painter and this is how she looks I ordered this I, I didn't need this did I need anything of this at this point no but I ordered this I get I think to get free shipping or something like this <laughs> you know it was on sale I think it was 50% off so I bought this um, I have done I think two looks with it I was not the biggest fan of this one I don't know if there is a difference in formula between this one and the equalizer palette I don't know um, but it felt like this was easier to work with but I could be wrong so take it with a grain of salt okay the next brand that I want to show you is Amorous USA I have two palettes from Amorous USA one of them I haven't even used both of them I bought something like two years ago or something <laughs> so this is the Snow Queen palette I don't know if this is still available because they're coming out with a lot of beautiful new big palettes um, all the time basically so this is the Snow Queen palette I really really like the color scheme in this one so I bought it it's also of course a more affordable brand which I personally really really like the performance was okay if I would review it again now because I just recently did another look just using mattes because I was 
looking for a certain color mat and I think it was it was a, like a hybrid between those two that I needed so I used this palette again was I still a big fan sort of mid-range okay I do have better formulas definitely but I still do believe that for the price what you're getting here is is good it's good it's just not my favorite anymore back then when I when I reviewed the palette I felt differently because it's like two years ago and also my makeup skills were differently and my I don't know you know we are, we're all on a journey here so that's why of course one sometimes has to like um, adjust opinions but it is still a good palette it's just not I would not rank it as high anymore as um, I maybe did back then when I filmed the review okay then I also have the Nala palette which is a more neutral earthy palette which also this one is a really really beautiful palette I have not used this yet it is really pretty though I mean um, I'm also speaking all the time about those earthy grounding palettes and this is one of them this is definitely one of them and it's super super pretty super super pretty yeah so I should definitely use this Okay, um, going to Too Faced. I actually have one palette from Too Faced and that was also one of the first palettes in my makeup collection which I also got from my US Bestie and that is the Chocolate Gold palette from Too Faced. Um, when I received this and it smelled it still smells like chocolate after all that time. This is also probably like two years old or maybe even older. Um, this is how she looks. I I have done maybe two or three looks with this. I have also used this on my models when I when I started to become a makeup artist. Um, am I the biggest fan of that formula? No, definitely not. I don't think it was spectacular, but that's just me, you know? Maybe I should go back again. Same applies to Amorous USA. Maybe I should go back and just try it again and see because um, I think I'm so much better than two years ago, you know, with my makeup application, with my experience, how to handle different formulas. So, but back then, um, besides the smell of chocolate, it didn't really draw me back too much to this palette. Okay, then let's talk about uh, playing a makeup by Yolando because that is um, a brand that is super, super interesting. This brand is, of course, based in the US. And I bought this because one of you actually um, messaged me on Instagram and said, playing a makeup by Yolando has a sale right now. Go and check <laughs> it because I always do what you guys say sometimes um, I went and checked and I think it was like a 30 or 40 percent sale and I bought myself the Gemrock no limitations palette which looks like this also this one is a very very good formula especially the mattes the shimmers um, th this is this kind of shimmer that is hard to pick up on, on the brush now I can use my fingers a lot of people especially people with artificial nails or very very long nails have a problem doing that so you know uh, depends on what your preferences are how you apply your makeup um, not all of them though there were different formulas here in this palette overall I think the performance was really good and I really liked it and it's of course a very nice and colorful palette okay so this was brand 8 I think so let's go to brand 9 for this video and that is Jolie Beauty which is UK based and no let's start with the intergalactic palette because that was the earlier palette that she came out with she has way more palettes on her website but these were outstanding okay intergalactic palette looks like this these should be still available I'm pretty sure I think the sorceress palette just came back also if you're watching this on launch okay so this is how the intergalactic uh, intergalactic palette looks this I think I got from my my other bestie is that true I almost feel like I got both of them from her for for different occasions so this is of course a super stunning palette uh, performance was really good I have to say though that in the beginning I struggled I struggled I remember that I struggled with the red and the black um, but besides that I really really loved the palette and for me I think it was just um, first time trying a new brand and getting into it you know trying to figure out how to rock this so in the beginning it was a bit hard but then I sort of adjusted my opinion while I was working with it and then of course I filmed also a review and then I said also I do believe that I said in the video that if I would have filmed a first impression I would have not liked it but 
Good thing that I filmed a review because by then I already knew that I like this. It's really nice. Also the pressed glitter formula is really really nice. And then of course the Sorceress palette have featured this also here on my channel. There's also a review up on this one. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this is just just amazing. You know? Yeah, so that is that. And the last brand for today is going to be Glamlight. Now, you probably all have a lot from Glamlight, especially if you're in the US and if you like colorful palettes. I don't, because for the longest time, I really had a big, big problem with all these food themed palettes, you know? For me, that's a trigger. It kind of still is. I'm, I'm growing out of it. I'm growing up. I'm also going to therapy once a week because of my eating issues, because I have a his history of an eating disorder. And for me, um, food, food themes, especially because it's all unhealthy food. It's always pizza and burger and tacos and ice cream and cake. You know, it's all the things that I would never ever put into my mouth. So f because of that, I always avoided that brand. Now, at some point, I did actually go ahead and bought the cake palette because I felt I, I can handle it because especially because it says here calorie zero, you know. So, uh, yeah, so that is that. And of course, this is, it's a beautiful looking palette, you know, absolutely beautiful. So I just got over it and I tried it. I liked it. Was it as spectacular as people said in reviews? I don't know. For me, it was a good normal, normal palette. You know, uh, maybe not the super most spectacular formula ever. Um, I would still prefer, for example, Juvia's Place. That is one of my most favorite formulas, definitely. Um, yeah, but anyway, that is so, so personal. So again, take it with a grain of salt because we are all different. Okay, then after that, I did buy the uh, Ice Cream Dream palette from Glam Light because I actually wanted to have a, a nice pastel palette you know and I think it is a really really nice pastel palette because it also gives me some depth in the palette without it just being a black so that is really really nice I do though believe um, for me personally that the fade into hue palette from Colourpop would probably I would probably prefer this the Colourpop one but again that is also super super personal yeah so anyway these were the 10 brands for today I hope you did enjoy I think I'm going to just link the brands in the description box down below I'm not going to link all the products just the brands so you can see which brands I spoke about and if you want you can of course check them out besides that of course let me know what you think what you have what you have of those in your collection how you experience the different formulas you can also totally disagree with me if you're respectful I absolutely appreciate that um, if we can just like talk about stuff and say you know what maybe if you didn't like this so much maybe try it on that base or like whatever you know we can all talk about this because I think we can all just learn from each other and uh, like from each other's experiences also you know so anyway that is that of course you will also find all my links to my social media for more looks for styling and also for makeup in the description box down below together with all my discount codes that I do have for the different brands and of course feel free to use them some of them are affiliated they will be marked so you will know which ones are and which ones aren't you will also find my makeup did I already say that I don't remember so anyway <laughs> Thank you for being here. Before you leave, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet. And besides that, of course, I'm going to see you here next time for my next video, which is going to be super soon. And up until then, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.